Hello and welcome to our video about Helix Editor on Linux. If you are a developer who is looking for an efficient and powerful code editor, then you have come to a right place. In this video, we will be talking about what Helix Editor is, why it is so popular among developers, and how you can install and use it on Linux. What is Helix Editor? Helix Editor is an open source code editor designed especially for developers. It is lightweight and flexible that allows you to write code quickly and effectively. The Helix Editor supports variety of programming languages like C, C++, Python, Java, and many more. It is highly customizable, so you can adjust it to suit your specific needs. Why is Helix Editor so popular? There are several reasons why Helix Editor is so popular among developers. Firstly, it is extremely fast and lightweight, which means you can work with the large files and projects without any lag or performance issue. Additionally, it is highly customizable, so you can configure it to suit your specific needs. Finally, the Helix Editor has an active community of developers, so you can always find the help and the support when you need it. Now let's talk about installing the Helix Editor. If you are using the other distribution like Debian or the Ubuntu or the Fedora, then you have to compile it from the source. Or if you are using the Arts, or the arts based distribution then it's really easy with the help of the AUR helper. So AUR helper like Ye or the Paru then you can simply use Paru-S followed by the Helix-Zit. So let me show you how we can do that and let me open up the terminal and on the terminal you can simply type the Paru-S Helix-Zit in order to install the git version of the Helix and if you did not found the git version of the helix on your database then you can just simply go on to the uh, github repository so that is helix hyphen editor and helix so don't worry i will leave uh, i will leave the link on the description and under the installation section you will see our a series of command need to be execute in a terminal in order to install the helix so that is much you can install the helix with uh, three lines of commands so don't worry you can just follow this uh, you can just follow this command in order to install it on other distribution as well so if you want to configure further about the helix editor, editor there is a site called docs.helixeditor.com so here you will find the documentation about the helix editor how to use it and how to configure it and how to configure the key bindings of the helix editor you can find the each and every documentation guide on this official website so don't worry the link is also provided on the description and you can just check it out and explore it yourself. So let me just give you a little bit overview of the Helix editor. So let me open up the terminal and let's go on to the directory called bin. I think I have some script there and you can just simply do the Helix followed by the uh, file name that you want to open. So let's assume this as a power menu. And here, as you can see, the UI is similar to the NeoVim. If you have used the NeoVim or the Beam uh, or the any other, uh, not any other, only Beam and NeoVim text editor or the code editor previously, then it's really easy to use Helix for you because Helix editor follows all the key bindings of the NeoVim. There are some key bindings that is different in NeoVim and the Helix, but you don't need to worry about it. Uh, you can you can easily get comfortable to it when you are using. So in comparison to the NeoVim, I find the Helix as easier. And it has a support for the alerts of language server, code intendation and the auto suggestion. We don't need to use the plugins or the any plugins manager on the uh, Helix, just like we used to do on the NeoVim. So we can just easily configure this with the single configuration file. So when you press leader key on the helix, it will just launch up a dialog box that pop up for the alerts of option. Uh, that's on. That's a kind of really easy for the helix user. You can just simply press the F in order to launch out the uh, menu that prompts for the file name. So let me just open up the one single file and uh, that is just open on the new buffer. If you just know the previous buffer, then you can also switch onto that. You can just simply press the G on the keyboard and just press the P. So P refers to the previous buffer and the N refers to the next buffer. So this is not the complete tutorial about the Helix editor. Uh, this is just a sim simple key bindings that I am showing you. And you can just go and check out on the website documentation. And there you will find a list of the key bindings. And let me show you a cool 
tricks on the helix also uh, we can also do that on the duo beam that is just splitting a window you can simply do the bs split and followed by the file name let uh, me just give it as a record so that is that is just my recording script for fmmpeg we can also split horizontally for that we can simply do sp i think uh, we have the option for hs split uh, hs split and followed by the file name and that is gonna be socklist dev i think that's a directory yeah it's open so that's really easy for opening and closing of the files on the helix and for closing the files on the helix uh, you can just simply use uh, vim key bindings uh, it's like write and queue we can simply do press escape on the terminal and we are just go to normal mode and let's play q on the prompt so basically helix follows is an every syntax and the key bindings of the new beam so you don't need to worry about it so that was really easy for using the helix so that's it for our video about helix editor on linux we hope you found this video useful and informative so if you are a developer who is looking for a fast and flexible code editor then we highly recommend you to look for a helix editor so thanks for watching and we will see you in our next video